Hello everybody, in today's video I'll be showing you some footage that I was sent from Matt Bonner and he is a puzzle inventor and designer on Shapeways and as you can see from what you're seeing on the screen he has created something really spectacular this time so I figured I'd help him out and make a video for him and kind of show it and expose it to the world and the community because it definitely deserves that kind of recognition. This is called the Yotaminx, it's a 15 layered Megaminx. This is a world record cube in a few different ways or a couple different ways. Uh, first, it's the world record cube for the biggest Mega Minx style puzzle that's ever been invented. The second is that it's the biggest puzzle in the world, I would think. <laughs> um, just for the size. This thing is the size of a basketball and weighs about 2 kilograms. And it, it costs so much for Matt to print this, he's paid more for this than he did his car. So that's pretty in, uh, impressive by itself. And it's also a world record for the amount of pieces. Now, Oscar Van Deventer's 17x17x17 17 by 17 by 17 over the top puzzle had the world record um, with about 1,550 pieces or something like that. Well, this Yotaminx designed by Matt has 2,943 pieces. So it's beat Oscar Van Deventer's record by almost double. And actually it uses similar uh, floating anchors like the 17 by 17 does as well. Um, and Oscar was kind enough to help him with this. So I'm gonna link you guys to Matt's YouTube channel down below. He's got lots of different uh, videos on things that he's created as well. He's a very talented guy. Um, I think he tried to create an Eximinx once, but it kind of fell apart, I think. Um, but this one here works out perfectly. Wow, is this thing ever impressive. I can't imagine how long it would take to solve this thing, but look at it. <laughs> You can see some of the stickers here are a little bit dinged up. Um, I imagine it's a little bit hard to keep them all on. I know that sometimes stickers kind of fade off of Shapeways material sometimes, especially if they're not put on with like a heat gun. Um, so that's expected, but I can't imagine how long it must have taken to, I think it was like two months or something to assemble this thing and sticker it and all that kind of stuff. Um, anyways, so I'll leave a video to his um, video on this puzzle as well where he can further explain the process and more about it than I can. I'm just trying to give him some recognition here. So go ahead and please, the very top link, check it out. Check out his video, check out his channel. And uh, yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video.